Mine's getting tangled. Oh, it's hard to take it here. Mine's wrapped around the tip up now. We're tangled. Straight in front. I need some more. I need some more. It off. I could see her down there. Oh, did you see that fish? Ah, oh, that was a big. Well, that's what's tripping our flags all this time. Is our, our big, our big decoy minnow, man. Yeah, but it's like our fifth false alarm today. Yeah, it is. It really is. But we need to be using the big decoy minnows to catch this big monster pike. Well, how are we gonna solve that problem? Lake to the woods, northern on the Ice Fish Pro. Huh? Nice. Tip up here. We got no mess on the ice, and it's, it's this quick. Put the bait back down the hole. You don't have to crank anything up. Pop the bail. Oh, I think it's still. Hook the line. Hook the bail on the rod. That quick, fishing again. Well, I'm going to show you how to set up the iFish Pro tip up here. You just take it out of the rod locker, extend it as you can see there, and then the rod holder, you can loosen the wing nut, slides back and forth, okay? So we're gonna be up fishing pike obviously today, so put your weight on there. We're gonna check the depth, see how deep we are here. So we're gonna crank this up, like so. And then we're gonna grab the slip stop off the tip up, now it comes with two of them there. And the slip stop clips are right on your line like a bobber would and slides up and down. And your bobber stop stops on top of there, which holds it to the depth and goes on the trigger. So grab me a minnow here. Using these big sucker minnows. And the beauty of it is we will not get one false flag with the iFish Pro, no matter how big the sucker minnow is. Explain that here. We're gonna hook them right there. We're gonna hook them again on the opposite side in the tail, just like that, so he hangs perfectly level. We're gonna drop him down. Put that right in there. We're put the tip up right over the hole. And one more thing that we did with the iFish Pro is we designed it so it sits over your hole and gives you an extra two inches. So it's a 12 inch base and we have a 10 inch hole. So that's gonna cover the hole completely and it will not freeze in. It's gonna sit just like that. Seal that off. See now our bobber stop is right there. And we're gonna wanna clip on the slip stop just like that. Hang that down. All right, now with your slip stop, we're gonna clip it on below the bobber stop, so that's our depth. It's gonna hang down, it's gonna go around our trigger, and it's gonna hang just like that. And your flag's gonna come down, and you're gonna put it underneath our, our settings. There's three settings. We got light all the way forward, medium, and heavy action. We're gonna put it heavy action today because our decoys are big, that what we're using. And the pull of the fish is what's gonna trip that flag to go off, come up, and you're gonna come over, Slide the tip up out of the way and set the hook. And right there is how quick and easy it is to set up the iFish Pro tip up. Just like that. Uh, That's awesome the way fish. to go right there. Flag, flag! Mm, there he is. Nice one. That was a good hook. Yeah, I'm gonna suck on him, bud. Mm-hmm. Geez, he's pulling hard. Jesus. Dude, I see your head. Oh my god, did she see it? Oh gosh, did she see you? Oh, how'd we get her in, Chad? What? Did she take it? Hold on. Get her head, dude. Oh, there she is. Oh, get her in, get her in, get her in. Oh, she's a big one. She's a big one. Oh, dude, she's huge. Oh my god. Look at that thing. What a tool. Oh, dude, let me hold this fish here. All right, here, I got the rod. Get him right by the gill, man. Back there, back there. Yeah, look at this thing, iFish Pro. Oh 
what this thing is a sword, I can barely hang on to it. That would be a memory. Yeah. Nice fish, dude. Alright, we should probably get it back in the water, dude. Alright. Fucking awesome fish, man. That was an awesome fish. Here, put it on our fish. Oh, like, ooh, it's very good. The gills really get me.